So we are talking about the movie Stasis. This one by writer-director Nicole Jones-Dion. Now this is actually her directorial feature-length debut. She's done a few shorts before and has actually been the writer on a number of kind of low-budget films, most notably being probably the Tekken 2 uh, video game movie. So the story here actually has some quite heavy science fiction films, so it's quite the project to undertake for a first-time feature director. Now, this was actually written by Nicole as well. I've got to say I was quite impressed with the, the complexity and the scope of the, of the story here. It's not entirely successful, but we'll kind of discuss it in a little bit more detail. So the basic plot here, so we start off in a world ravaged by war. I think that the year is like 2067, something along the lines of that. And it's essentially a post-apocalyptic setting. And the, the technology in the future, basically, we have um, uh, the ability to kind of time travel. But it's, it's very much like Days of Future Past. This movie is kind of like the Terminator meets Days of Future Past with a supernatural element. So basically we have these kind of two agents from the future that travel back to the past to try and prevent this kind of catastrophe from happening. But the way they do it is they, they don't physically go back into the past. Their kind of souls go back, so to speak, and overtake the body of someone who is just on the verge of death at that period of time. So uh, this is why I mean it's a little bit like Days of Future Past. So it focuses on the kind of the female character, um, Seattle, who goes into this kind of young girl, but she goes into this girl just a little bit early while she's still kind of like alive, but on the way out. And this causes the, the kind of the girl's soul, essentially, the uh, original kind of host body, to still be kind of hanging around. So basically we have uh, Seattle, who is now in this kind of like young teenage girl's do kind of body, but we also have this kind of the... what this kind of the ghost version of her as well but who has the original personality of the host so a little confusing if you see what i mean after that we've got this whole kind of network of these kind of time travelers we've kind of got this like rival faction called the cabal which is kind of the bad guys basically who for some reason want to stop these guys from kind of changing the past so that's your kind of your basic plot premise there. So what did I like and didn't didn't like with this movie? Let's talk about any negatives first of all. I felt there was just a, there was just a little bit a, a a few kind of plot holes and story elements that didn't quite work for me. For one thing, um, the the reason why we have these two factions isn't made clear. I mean, the, we have the rebels they're called and the cabal, and we're told at the beginning of the movie that there is virtually no humans left. So why is there kind of two factions that are kind of warring? It's never really explained why there is a difference of opinion between these two people two kind of factions and if there's so few humans left why wouldn't anyone want to stop uh, the apocalypse from happening so that's never really made clear in this film i've also got to say when we kind of when you watch this film and it's not entirely clear what's happening in regards to the time traveling sort of situation um you know you don't really know understand what's going on and how this kind of this this girl's soul is kind of uh separate and, and things like that so it doesn't do a good enough job I, I don't think of setting up that that kind of the rules of what's actually happening in regards to the time travel because you're watching it not really knowing what's happening and only kind of picking it up later on when it kind of is a little bit more obvious and they kind of come back to it but by then you've kind of you've maybe missed a few things so there was a few story elements that didn't quite work for me i mean when you watch this film as a whole and you finish finished it you kind of i guess understand it apart from maybe the, the reason why there's two sides fighting but nonetheless it kind of works in the end but as you're watching it it's a little confusing and not entirely explained um next thing uh, the acting it's a little bit kind of hit and miss in places uh, it, it's at no means terrible but there are a few performances most notably the young girl um actually in her kind of original body which was ava who is this kind of teenage bratty goth kid the acting wasn't very strong i've got to say and there's a few lines here that are a little bit kind of um a little bit on the nose and a little bit kind of cheesy uh, a few little nitpicks here and there. There's a couple of things that just were overlooked. For example, there's a scene where a character is tied up and they, they have a piece of um, tape over their mouth and their their arms are bound, but they're just like uh, not bound down to anything. So they can easily just take the tape off their mouth. There's no reason why they couldn't do that. And, and she's trying to speak and nothing stopping her from taking the tape out of her mouth. Things like that, little, attempt, little kind of like bits of detail that I think were missed maybe. Um, stuff like that uh but 
the, and they also think when we come to the talk to the action sequences, because they plot device in the film, it makes them a little bit uninteresting to watch. And there's a reason for it. Like I said, there's a plot device, what this kind of bad guy Terminator sort of character uses, um, which is clever, but at the same time, not very visually interesting. But what did work? So first thing for me, I was really impressed with this story. It's, it's like I said, it does have some quite heady sci-fi themes. And obviously, when you're talking about um, sort of things like time travel, obviously you've got to kind of like you know you're looking at paradoxes and stuff like that. And these kind of guys are kind of going back in the past and saying, well, you know, um, things can't have changed because otherwise we just simply wouldn't be here. So that's not ignored, which I, which I really appreciated. And I kind of did like the fact that. Um, you know, certain things are, are are addressed and kind of it makes sense when you watch this film. Even though I did find it a little confusing, it kind of makes sense more or less when you watch it as a whole. And I've got to say, the plot does move at a fair old pace, and the characters are quite kind of quite likable. So you are engaged throughout this movie. But I was thoroughly impressed with the originality of this film, even though, like I said, it definitely borrows elements from things like the Terminator, most notably. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a different take on this kind of this of subgenre, and it definitely, for the most part, worked. I would say. You know, when we have this kind of future landscape, these post-apocalyptic, the set design all looks great. I thought that was very well handled. And obviously we have this kind of this, this time jump thing. And, uh, you know, again, there's shades of grey within the characters. I thought they were all pretty interesting. And it, it points to a kind of a larger world. So the mythology here obviously is larger than the actual, uh, you know, the, the film can fit in one film. Which leads me on to the last point, which isn't really a, a positive or a negative. The whole point of these guys going back in time was to try and change the past to so this... Uh, this um, catastrophe doesn't happen in the future but that's never really addressed that seems to just be once they're back in time it never really had, seems to be a priority for ever, anyone and no one ever seems to kind of really mention it again until right at the end when, and it's never resolved so um they go back in time and deal with a whole bunch of other problems but never the one that they were actually sent back for so there you go um anyway overall i have to say because of the just the the story here, I thought it was such an engaging story. I'd definitely give this an above average mark. I would say this film's a 6.5. If you're a science fiction fan, you should definitely check it out because I think it has a lot to offer. Um, have you seen it? What do you think of it? Just leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.